Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to continue our comparison between iOS 5 and Windows 8. Here we have the iPad 3, or the latest iPad, and we have the Dell Inspiron Duo that we're running Windows 8 consumer preview on. So it's basically a beta. So this isn't a finished version. This is what it may look like when it's done. It's about 99% finished as far as the way it looks, but as far as other things, it may not be. So we're going to take a look at browsers today. So here we have the iPad, and we'll go ahead and take a look at that, and then we'll take a look at the browser on the Windows 8 tablet. So let me move that out of the way, and we'll move the iPad into display or into screen here. I'm going to unlock my iPad. Now, for the sake of the video, I'm going to turn this to landscape, and the reason for that is I can't turn the other tablet out of landscape. So here is the iPad. You can see this is my website and we can scroll just like you'd expect. We can pinch to zoom. No problem there. Uh, if we want to tap on a link, we can tap. It will go to the next page. So it'll take a moment. It'll load. Both of these will be on my Wi-Fi, so they should be about the same. And you can see this was the last comparison where we compared mail. So here's the website and we can do a few things. We have a few options. We can search in the upper right here. Tap in here, search. We can put in our web address, obviously. We can go back, forward. We can bookmark, and here's a bunch of different bookmarks. We can edit our bookmarks, or we can have a reading list, but we'll take a look at that in a moment. And then we have some share options. So right here, we can add a bookmark. We can add to reading list, so that means we'll save the web page later and look at it later. We can add to home screen, so I can make a direct link to the home screen from here. We can mail a link to this page. We can tweet it on Twitter, or we can print the page. So those are all built into iOS. Now we can copy and paste and things like that, but you can do that throughout the OS. So I'm going to talk about the browser itself. So it renders things pretty nice. It does not have Flash, fully HTML5 compatible, works great with that. If I wanna add it to the home screen, I can do that. Windows 8 Versus, that's fine. It'll link to this page, and I added it to the home screen. It'll open the browser back up, load that page, and we're good to go. So pretty basic. It's your basic browser. Works great with HTML5 content. Anything other than Flash works good for that. Let's go ahead and move that to the side, and we'll take a look at Windows 8. So we'll go ahead and turn Windows 8 on, unlock it. I've unlocked Windows 8, and you can see there's the home screen tile layout and updating live tiles mail things like that uh, one person said i forgot to mention the mail updating live tile uh, thanks for bringing that up i thought it was kind of an obvious feature uh, but some people may not know and it is a nice feature it will update with some recent mail that comes in so it's really nice so there's the browser i did not open the browser it went to microsoft so it did it on its own we'll go to go here we can so you can see everything disappears we'll go to the bottom here and it's this tablet too, so don't blame it completely on the tablet. Uh, sometimes it's responsive. You can see it's not doing what I want it to do, and now it's working. So we'll go to Zolotech. It's already in there. It will load. You can see how fast or slow it loads. It's pretty fast, considering uh, this is a single core processor. There's the web page, and we can scroll. Really smooth scrolling, really nice. Pinch to zoom. Uh, pretty much the same as, as uh, iPad as far as the speed. You can see we can drag it around. It's basically showing what's there and what's not. Now, it looks like you've just got the full page, and this is something I personally like about Windows 8, is it's a full screen app until you want to change something. So if I want to change something, slide in from the bottom, and you can see the last things I went to, quick history. We can get rid of those. Now, we can do tabs, arguably, in the iPad or on iOS 5, and you saw those tabs across the top. I, most browsers nowadays do tabs, so I figured we'd, I'd just mention that, but you can see we can close these out. We've been here. That's fine. Okay. Now here we can add a page, so we can add a tab basically. It keeps a little bit of a history. We'll just go to Zolotech, and there's the history. We can tap to go to the, the link we want. It brings up the web address, shows where we're going. And there we go. Now, like I mentioned, this is basically a beta, uh, a very stable beta. I haven't had it really crash or anything. Occasionally, it will do something wonky like you saw there. But overall, pretty stable. So we want to type in our web address. We go here, type in our web address. Different types of input. We've got stylus and things, but that's really the keyboard. Uh, that's fine. 
Now here we can stop it. We can go into here to pin it. Now pinning is something you can may be familiar with with Windows 7. We can pin to the start bar. So we'll go ahead and pin to start. We'll look at that in a moment. And then we have some tools or options here. Find on page, view on the desktop. So if we want to view the web page on the desktop, we can do that. I'll show you that. Now it's going to open the web browser that's built into the desktop. It's actually a different version of Internet Explorer. We'll open it and we can take a look at that. But this is basically Internet Explorer that you're familiar with. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the other one. And you saw how I just swapped back multitasking. Or I could go home and you should see my link here to Zolotech, which is really nice. I Same as iOS 5, but it also is similar and it's nice to have that option. Now we have some arrows here, forward, back, pull in from the top. We have that plus where we can add another tab or page. We can go into new in private tab or clean up tabs. It'll clean them up to one what we're currently on. We can refresh the page. So pretty nice there. If we swipe in from the side, you see it brings back that app. We're going into some other things. Now we'll go back home and I swiped up. We'll go back to internet Explorer. So overall pretty nice. Again, a simple browser. We do have flash compatibility if you want to install flash. So not a problem there, but out of the box, it's an HTML five compatible browser and it works really well. Responsiveness is great. Speed is great. And there we did it again. A little bit of a couple little weird things that are going on, but uh, overall responsiveness is great. And I apologize that this viewing angle of this uh, tablet, I can barely see it from the angle I'm at and I'm just looking at it as though it's sitting on the table. It's not the greatest display, but if I look at it through the camera uh, lens, I can basically see it just fine. And I'll give you a quick example of that from a different angle to see how poor it is. Uh, it's viewable directly over, looks great from side or, or uh, the angle I'm at is very bad. So uh, here we have Internet Explorer again. Overall, great browser, works great, does what you'd expect. It's a browser and not a whole lot of options yet, but that does not mean there won't be more options in the future. If we slide in settings, uh, there's just some basic things there as well. Uh, let me tilt this so I can see. We'll go to settings and okay. So we have delete browsing history, which is here. We have permissions, ask for location, zoom, encoding, uh, Unicode, different things like that. So really nice uh, options. And like I said, I apologize. I can't see at the right angle. So it's, it's a little bit different. Now in this sidebar here, we also have some options as well where we can share. So if we want to share, we can do that. We can search and share. We can email this website just like we could in the other browser. Now I don't know of an option to save for later. Maybe I'm missing that. Uh, so if I am, please go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments below because I may very well be missing that. So if you're not, if you're familiar with windows eight, really familiar now, I wanted to talk to you about that just for a moment. Windows 8 and iOS 5, people are saying I shouldn't even be comparing it. Well, you know, this is really, I'm recognizing that this is a beta stage and a Apple is in the tablet market and the Mac market. They have two different separate ecosystems uh, that are slowly combining. Microsoft is kind of saying everything should be one system. So Windows Phone 7 and Windows 7 combined kind of equals Windows 8 in a sense. It's not exactly the same. But because of that, uh, I think it's important to realize this is Microsoft's attempt at something to be better than the iPad. And in many ways, it really is because it will play all of your regular games and things when it comes to market and will do everything pretty much that windows seven would anyway, with this nice, beautiful touch first UI that Microsoft's doing. Now, and anyone that knows or watches my videos knows that I'm pretty much an Apple guy, but I really like windows phone seven and I really like windows eight, uh, but it's a big change and it's something different. I don't see myself necessarily going to them, but I do like them probably equally in many ways uh, to iOS and OS 10. They're just different. I like new, different and upcoming. So with that uh, aside, we'll go ahead and compare some more things uh, in the future, but that's just Internet Explorer. Works great. And if this version's not working, install Firefox. You can do that. Install Chrome. Uh, it's just like windows. This is just the built in browser that comes with it. And since it's already optimized for touch, everything works really good and fast and well, why not take a look at it? So overall really nice, 
lots of different options. Great browser. Uh, iOS is great for that too, although you lack the flash and there's ways around that also that you may already be familiar with, but I thought we'd just cover that. Now, if anyone has any suggestions or things they want to see in particular that they've been trying to decide, I don't know that you'd be deciding between the two, the iPad here and Windows 8. Uh, please go ahead and feel free to comment and let me know what you want to see. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Uh, please comment below and any thoughts you have on the browsers or Windows 8 in general or iOS in general, and it'll be great to see what Apple does in the future with iOS 6 also. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do that. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.